Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Pete and I am glad to be with you today as we jump into a section of First Peter. And I want you to think about something while we read this passage. We are so blessed. I mean, we live in a time in history where we have some of the greatest blessings in the world. Most importantly, the blessing of knowing Jesus through his word. Do you realize we live at a time, as we will read, where the prophets from the Old Testament looked forward to and the angels up in heaven longed to understand? Let me tell you what I mean. I'm reading 1 Peter, reading verse 10 through 12. And it says this, Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the suffering of Christ and the subsequent glories. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you in the things that have now been announced to you through those who preached the good news to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things in which angels long to look. That is a pretty special passage, and I want you just to think about a few things that we learn from this. First, we learn that the Old Testament prophets, when they're prophesying about what is to come, were actually serving us. These were things that they wanted to see come to fruition, but they knew they weren't going to see the Messiah come to fruition, but they knew they were proclaiming this for future generations, for us who would get to trust in this Messiah. If you want to look at one of those passages where you can actually read a prophecy about Jesus, check out Isaiah 53 sometime this week. Go back and read about the suffering servant, the suffering Messiah. Isaiah is talking about Jesus, and he was talking about Jesus not for himself, but for those who would read in the future generations. Then the next thing we see here is that when the gospel is preached, it is received because of the work of the Holy Spirit. It's not that the person who receives the gospel is super smart or the person that proclaimed the gospel was super eloquent. No, it's that the Holy Spirit is working. And this section in Peter is talking about the fact that when someone trusts in Christ, they're trusting because the Holy Spirit has worked in them. And the last thing that I see here is that we need to keep angels in their proper perspective. In, in modern day uh, religious new age philosophies, we make a lot about angels. Like people like to think about angels, talk about angels, but really this really puts angels in the proper perspective. Angels long to understand the grace and the mercy that we've received through Jesus Christ. So really, Jesus Christ is the main thing. Don't get caught up in angel worship or thinking that angels are behind every door. Or angels are super important. They're, they're God's servant, but Jesus is the main thing. So I hope this blesses you today, and I hope you have a great day, Calvary.